In this video, we're going to add, subtract, multiply and divide decimals up to three decimal places. So we'll start with addition, we'll then subtract, multiply and divide. So adding up is pretty similar to adding in general, so adding whole numbers. You've got to line them up so that the value of the digits matches with the ones underneath. So that's the units matches with the units, tens matches with the tens, tenths matches match with the tens, hundredths match with the hundredths, and thousands match with the thousands. So we haven't got a digit here, but we can fill it with a zero if we want. Because we've said that zeros after the decimal point don't make any difference. And a clue here is if you've lined up the decimal points, then pretty much everything else is fine. So do that and it's sorted. Then treat it as you treat whole numbers. So 0 and 3 is 3, 6 and 8 is 14, so 4 and 1 carried over. 3 and 1 is 4, because 0 doesn't add up anything. 4 and 4 is 8 and 1. So I transfer the decimal point as I went along in line with the other decimal points. So 18.443 is the answer for this. Then looking at subtraction, again, no digit here, so we'll add a zero. Um, lined up, so we've got decimal points under the decimal points, units under the units, and so on. So zero take away two gives us a negative, so we'll borrow one from this, so this becomes one and this becomes ten. Ten take away two gives us eight. 1 take away 4 gives us a negative, so we'll borrow 1 here, so this becomes 11. 11 take away 4, that will give us 7. And 3 take away 3 gives us 0. Transfer the decimal point. 7 take away 4 gives us 3. 1 take away 0 is 1. So the answer is 13.078. In multiplication, again, we treat it as whole numbers, ignoring the decimal points, and then we add the decimal points later on. So we'll treat this as 74,834 multiplied by 1,624. Uh, so we start with the 4 again. So 4 times 4 is 16, so 6 down and 1 carries over. 4 times 3 is 12 and the 1 is 13, so 1 carries over. 4 times 8 is 32 and the 1 is 33, so 3 carried over this time. 4 times 4 is 16 and 3 is 19, so 9 and 1 carries over. 4 times 7 is 28 and the 1 is 29. So we finished with the 4, we move to the 2. So again, that if it was whole numbers, that would mean 20. So I put a 0 down and then treat it as 2. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 8 is 16, so 6 and 1 carried over. 2 times 4 is 8 and the 1 is 9. 2 times 7 is 14. So finish with the 2, move to the 6. So we put now two decimal, two zeros, because there are two digits after the 6. So we got 6 times 4 is 24. So 4 down and 2 carried over. 6 times 3 is 18 and the 2 is 20. 6 times 8 is 48 and the 2 is 50. 6 times 4 is 24 and the 5 is 29. 6 times 7 is 42 and the 2 is 44. So we're finished with the 6 as well. So we've got 1, 2, 3 places there now. So 1, 2, 3, and carry on with the 1. 1 times 4, 3, 8, 4, 7. Because when you multiply by 1, the numbers don't change. We add these up. So we've got 6 here. We've got 11. So 1 carried over. 10, 13, 14. 10, 19, and the 1, 20. So it's 2. Now add these, there's mixed 20, 23, so 2 carried over. So 
8 and 2 is 10, 19, 21, 25. So we've got 5, 9, 11. 7 and 4 is 11 and the 1 is 12. So we've got this number now. And what we're going to do now is place the decimal point. Where does it go? Now, the way we do this is we calculate how many decimal places there are in the first number. And there's 1, 2, 3. So that's the digits after the decimal point. So we've got 3 here and we've got 1, 2, 3, 3 here as well. So 3 and 3 make 6. So I need to give this answer 6 decimal places. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the decimal point needs to go here. So the answer is 121.530416. Now we'll look at division. So we're dividing 8.662 by 1.42. So in order to turn this into whole numbers so that we can easily work with them, we would write this as 8.662 so point over 1.42 because that's how we've got them. I'm just writing them as a fraction. So I need to get rid of these. So if I multiply them both by 10, I would then have 86.62 over 14.2. If I multiply them both by 10 again to keep the fraction the same, I'd have 866.2 over 142. And then finally, 8662 over 1420. So that is whole numbers now that we can work with. We can simplify, halve, and so on. I would have preferred to have stopped here and plug it in there. So the decimal point would go after this second six and it would have 142. So how many 142s fit into 866? And it is six of them. So six times 142 which we can do quickly, that is 852. So we've got 13 left. So, well, actually it was 852. So that means 14 left, not 13. So now we have 142. So that is one lot one lot but at this point when you finish with this number where i cross out we put a decimal point here as well so 866 we fit it six lots of 142 put a decimal point wherever that is and then put in the next digit which was one so that gave us 6.1